All right, welcome back. In the last video, we got started on our player death logic. We set up some collisions and the blood spray particle. And in the last video, I mentioned some things that we would be doing to finish up the player death uh, system, but there's actually a little more to it that I had forgotten and I wasn't looking at my notes. So we have a little bit more to set up before we get into the uh, the function part of it. So let's go ahead and get that started. So let's go to our uh, meta layout and we can click anywhere and let's go down to our sprite and place it wherever. And we have a few frames to import. So I'm going to go down here to our animations panel at the bottom and I'm going to right click I'm going to say import frames from files and then navigate to the animations folder. And by the way, if uh, you haven't already, I do provide all the assets for this project. You can find them in uh, a link below in the description and they are all organized into folders. And in our animations folder, we have six frames uh, labeled death with a number after them. A good thing about Construct 3 is that if you have several files with the same name and a number on the end and you import them all at one time, it will order them how you have them numbered. And that's how I have them labeled here. So I'm going to pick death 0 and then I'm going to shift click death 5. And that will highlight all six files. I'm going to open and then our first frame over here, zero is blank. I'm going to just right click and delete. So this is what you should have. It is our player and it, I've just separated all his body parts. So you got the head, the chest, uh, two arms and two legs. First off, let's go over here to the top right and click on our animation and let's rename it uh, ANI underscore death because we are going to need to reference it later on. And then we can drop the speed down to zero and leave everything else the way it is. We do not want it looping. No repeats or ping pongs. Let's go over here to the head, set an origin point for each one of these. So for our head, I'm going to put the origin point uh, at the neck. So at the, the bottom, I'll say the bottom middle. Okay, and then the chest, I'll leave the chest right in the middle. And then the arm, I'm going to put up here at the end of the arm. Same thing with this arm. And then the legs, I'll put at the top of the legs. That should do it. I'm not sure why this one imported sideways, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So now we can select our collision polygon tool and I'm going to change these up a little. And the reason is, is we're going to add physics to this object. And whenever it bounces off of other objects in the level, I don't want it to be square to where it can land on a flat side and just sit there. So I want a little variation so it has the chance to maybe teeter back and forth because of its uneven bounding box. So for this one uh, I'm just going to kind of just play around with it and you can really move it to wherever you see fit. Maybe like that and uh, maybe add another point and then I don't know, something like that. Okay, let's go to the next leg and do the same thing. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and add another point and then just move my mesh around. Maybe like that. Uh, and to the arm, let's go ahead and add another point. I'm just doing five points on each of these. I think that will give it enough uh, difference and variation. And I'm trying to create 
non 90 degree angles. I'm just trying to switch it up to where we have, you know, sharp points to where if it lands on this end, it has no chance of landing right side up. It's going to fall over. Okay, I'm going to go with that. And let's do the next arm. Add a point. And with our chest. And then the head, we can do the same thing. Okay, so our collisions and our origins are set. Let's exit out of this, and I'm going to rename this player underscore death. Move that up into our objects. So now we have player and player underscore death. Okay, let's grab our player object and double click to go into it. And we want to grab our image point tool, our origin point tool, and we're gonna set up some image points. So we have our origin selected here or highlighted, and this is at the bottom middle of the sprite. This is where we base our movement off of when we're playing the game. And then earlier we set up the image point one for the blood splatter to happen. And that is set up in the middle of his head, which on our player death object, we set that image point at the neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and reposition that to the neck area. So now the blood splatter is gonna come out of more of the middle of his body. I think that works better. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, right click, add a new image point. So this is going to be image point two, which is the second frame, his chest. And we put that one right in the middle. So I'm going to match this up uh, right in the middle of his chest. Let's create another image point. Image point three is going to be one of the arms. So I'll put that uh, right about there, maybe closer to the shoulder. Add another image point. Image point four is going to be the other arm. So I'm going to come to this side of his chest and put it there. That's where the other shoulder is going to be. Let's add another, and that's going to be one of the legs. So I'll go to this side of his, of the bottom of his torso or his hip and add one more image point and go to the other side, maybe right there. So each one of these image points is going to correspond with an image point that we set for our player death, which our head is right there, our chest is in the middle, our arms are set at the shoulders, and our legs are set at the hip area. One more thing I want to do here is with our player death object selected, I want to go over here to behaviors, edit behaviors, add a new behavior, and let's scroll down until we see physics, and let's pick physics, add physics, and then let's set up a few things. So what's going to happen is when we code the function for the death state, we are going to apply physics to shoot each piece of his body in a different direction. But we want the body parts to shoot out quickly, but not too far and then fall as quickly as they can. So to make them not shoot out too far, and to fall pretty quickly, we can raise the density. And I'm gonna raise it to 10. That's pretty dense, but we're also gonna apply quite a bit of force. And then the friction, I'm going to bump that up to one. And the elasticity, let's move that up from 0.2 to 0.5. That'll make it bounce around a little bit more. And my linear and angu angular damping, I'm going to uh, put both at zero. So that should be it for the physics. This isn't going to do anything right now because we haven't coded it to do anything, but I wanted to get this set up so that in the next video we can code everything and we don't have to change anything on any of our sprites and we have both our player and our player death sprites completely set up. So in the next video we will code the rest of the death state because that's all we have left to do with it so i will see you in the next video 
And as always, don't forget to save.